French nuclear plant in the uh, northwest rural area of Flamanville. Let's go to our correspondent, Charlotte Dubensky, in France there. Charlotte, I was, um, when this information came through, I used to live on Jersey, and I know along that coast, um, in France, of course, heavily reliant, about 75% of its uh, nuclear energy uh, of, for electricity. Um, it's still heavily reliant on it. There's, uh, I mentioned earlier on uh, that uh, I was talking about the La Hague nuclear reprocessing plant. So often in the news, if you're in that part of the world, this is a different plant along the coast. This is Flamanville. You can also see it from Jersey, thinking about it now, it is very close, if you're on the Channel Islands, you can see it about 12 miles away, you see the two domes there. That's the place we're talking about here, at a place called Flamanville, so not that nuclear reprocessing site. Um, what do we know? We know there's been a, a, a blast there just around about two hours ago, we know there have been, been some injuries, but crucially, what they're saying at the moment, there is no danger to the public. Check. Yes, that's right. We're being told that this was a significant technical incident, but this was not crucially a nuclear incident. And we're being told that um, this was outside the nuclear zone and local government officials are stressing at the scene. We're being told by uh, sources on the scene that they are stressing that this will not cause a nuclear contamination. Now, if you live anywhere near a nuclear plant, that's obviously what you want to be reassured about right now is that we're hearing from sources on the ground that there will be no leak as a result of this blast. This blast happened around two hours ago, 10 a.m. local time here in France at the Flamanville nuclear station, which is on the Normandy coast. As you said, that is a separate processing plant to Le Havre, which is around 50 or 60 kilometers away to the east. This is further on the west coast of France, and this is where you can actually see the Channel Islands of Jersey and Guernsey, so a, a little bit bit further over if, if you know your mm. geography of that part of France well. Now, we understand that five people have been injured. Again, these are reports from the ground, all unconfirmed reports, because it is quite difficult to get information as they're dealing with this ongoing situation and trying to work out exactly what happened. But the important factors here to remember are that we are being told by the local uh, government officials on the ground that this is outside of the nuclear zone this blast took place in an engine room and it will not cause any nuclear contamination. Mm. Now, we are waiting to hear for confirmation and details from the state back um, EDF. They've been asked at their Paris HQ for a comment on this. So far, no comment is forthcoming because clearly they are dealing with this situation on the ground. Yes, ab absolutely. Uh, but what we can tell you is that there was a blast this morning, 10 a.m. local time, at this nuclear plant. Officials are saying no cause for concern in terms of contamination and this was a significant technical event but mm. not a nuclear blast Kevin that's, well that's good to hear at least the thoughts though with those uh, five uh, people there that uh, appear to be injured but we think not too serious